Kia ora koutou. So exciting to have more time with you today. We're going to be exploring one of my favourite parts of our beautiful world, our waterways, our white water, the life giving water. Now as you know, most of our bodies are water, most of our planet's water, but water of course is also home for our beautiful friends and family relations who live there. And we're going to be meeting some of them today. Now if you're lucky like me and you have a beautiful stream in your bubble, you can head on down to the stream and see who's living there. So if you want to come a bit closer, this is all you need. You can just bob down and grab a little rock out of the stream. And what you'll see, there's heaps of creatures living on here. At first they might just look like rocks, but if you're very careful and you get an ice cream container with water and you just gently tickle the rock, as I like to say, what you'll see is these little creatures will let go of their grip on the rock and then you'll be able to look at them a bit more closely. So let's have a look and see what we found. Oh my goodness. So if we have a really close look in here, what you'll find is that we have a lot of different caddisfly species. This is a woody case caddis who's made its house from bits of wood and stick. This is a free living caddis who just wriggles around freely. Over here, we have a beautiful smooth case caddis who's made its home using its body. And we also have a stony case caddisfly. Now these are all the larvae of the caddisflies. They'll live in the water like this for about a year and then they'll hatch out and fly around, probably only for a few days. So isn't it amazing? All of these beautiful creatures were living on one rock and we can carefully put them back. What was that? Let's see what Huna Namaho has found. Oh, Huna Namaho is so excited. Let's see what he's found. Wow, Huna Namaho, you found so many amazing creatures in here. So, Huna Namaho has also found a smooth case caddis a stony case caddis and some free living caddis flies that you can see wriggling around but not just that look at this magnificent coda or freshwater crayfish that Huna Namaho has found Huna Namaho congratulations <laughs> yes Huna Namaho let's have a look at this chart and see what this all means so if we have a look on this beautiful chart what you might be able to see is that all these creatures get a mark out of 10. If they get a green, that means that they're high sensitivity. They can only survive in the cleanest water. Now that smooth case caddisfly that we found gets a 9 out of 10. That shows us that this water is really, really clean. The woody case caddisflies get a 5, so they're a bit tougher. They could survive in water that's a bit dirtier. And the stony case caddisflies are a six. And what about that coda? Well, if we have a look at the coda, they get a five. So they're quite tough as well, but they still live in that high sensitivity range. Now, you might be wondering about these other freshwater friends. Some of them, like the Oligarchy worms, who get a red one, they're really super duper tough. So they could live in water that's really, really dirty and they'd still be okay because they just breathe through their skin. But if we look right up here at our 10 out of 10s, like Stenoptilus stonefly, they could only survive in the cleanest, cleanest water because they have external gills. Imagine if our lungs were on the outside of our body. We'd have to be so careful about what was in the air around us. So everybody, I hope you've enjoyed meeting my freshwater friends from my bubble. Now I would love for you to go out and have a look who's living in your bubble. And please share with us what you found. Thank you all. Kakite!